Hello everybody, my name is Jarl Chris, and welcome back to Let's Play Soul's Time at Level 1, or Let's Play Skyrim's Dragonborn DLC at Level 1, whichever you prefer to call it. In the last video, we completed a black book, we searched Damn Hall Mine, which was pretty interesting. And in this video, I am not 100% sure what I'm going to do, but before we get too far into the video, I would like to announce that I am now streaming on Twitch. You know, twitch.tv forward slash Jarl Chris with an underscore... And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. At the time of upload, I will be streaming that night, which will be Monday, August, um, I believe, hold on, let me check. August 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will link in the description the Twitch channel. It's also linked on my homepage, and I'll probably put it in the pinned comment as well, just saying when I am going to stream. I've already done two streams, and they have gone pretty nice, me and one viewer at least were chatting the entire time there was a couple times where I'd go up to two viewers but nobody else chatting but it was pretty fun and I enjoyed it but yeah join in tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time at least um, another thing that I want to say is if you enjoy these videos make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more and lastly I would like to say that I'm probably going to shut off survival mode for this series not because it makes it harder per se, but it makes it take longer to record. And it's starting to become more of an inconvenience than an actual challenge. So, that is going to happen. It's not like it's lowering the difficulty or anything like that. It's basically just because I want to be able to fast travel. Because, as you can see, I have walked back and forth over this island over and over again. And it's starting to turn into quite the inconvenience that is honestly preventing me from being able to do a lot of what I want to do in the series. Which is unfortunate because I was enjoying the survival aspect. Um, mostly the um, hot and cold and the need to eat, but it is what it is. So basically now what we're going to do is fast travel on over to Raven Rock since we can now. And then we're probably going to go cleanse some stones. But I am here to sell things. And probably buy some healing potions, seeing as though I have tons of gold to do so. Do I even have anything I, I can really sell? Yes, I do. Hello, Glover Mallory. Glover Mallory's. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Well, I have a leather pair of leather boots that you can have. Some gold ingots, gold ore. That's about it for you. Okay, Glover. Um, what can I sell to you? Probably, yes. Hmm. Well, I'm wearing this, so might as well get rid of it. I'm not wearing a ring, so I might put that on, actually. Seeing as I do rely on Magicka to heal myself quite often. Ooh, do I, I have any, um... No, I don't. Okay. The coin. What a waste. Dude, don't be... I just... Well, for one, if you had the coin. I mean, you obviously have plenty. It only cost me 250 gold to get here. Okay, yes, I am in interested in potions and ingredients because I need healing potions desperately. And is all you have really three minor healing potions? That's real nice, lady. Okay, then. Okay, so now, like I said, let's go cleanse some stones. So we've already discovered the sunstone, so I guess that's where we'll go first. Make a quick save. Or, you know, I'll make an actual save. Just in case. That world will cease. No, it probably won't. I mean, we need a second Bethesda game. Alright, I'm going to wait 24 hours so I have Berserker Rage, so I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't end up waiting a full 24 hours, but it is early morning and I do have Berserker Rage back. So now we will use the Bend Will Shout on this stone. 
wait until whatever the enemy is going to be spawns in, use Berserker Rage, and go ham. And of course it is just another Lurker. But luckily we have grown quite powerful. Not as powerful as I'd like, but powerful. Powerful enough to put down a Lurker quite easily. Ooh, what's this? Ash spawn. Ooh. Little extra fight here. Is there no oh yeah, right here. Luckily we have like an army of reavers fighting with us. Apparently they're not gonna Oh my god. Seems like they're not going to attack us right now, just because I freed them probably. Yeah, they seem docile. Let's see what that lurker had on him for loot. And we will take the Sunstone ability. Oh, I already looted it. Sunstone. Sun Flare added. Powers. A 100 point fiery explosion centered on the caster does more damage to closer targets. Single use then must be required at the sunstone. Interesting. Very interesting ability. That is another reason I want to enable fast travel because I like... It will give me an advantage if I can fast travel to these stones, get the powers without having to walk the entire way there. Because believe it or not, it was going to happen anyways. I would walk the entire way if I had to. Just because it would make it possible... You know, for me to use my abilities, it would make it possible for me to win fights. I wouldn't have to run away from all my problems like I did in the last video. And I know, it might bother some people, it probably does. And I do apologize for it, but it's a quality of life improvement. Oh, a cultist. Easy. Okay, yet again, 24 hours. See you when I'm ready to fight. Okay, I am back. Why are you... Like, what is that ing? Oh, he's fighting Reiklings. Well, I don't want them to kill him, so I guess I'll help take them out. So it's strange. They're like working on the stone, but they're also not for some reason. Okay. Um, bend will. What happened? And I did save before I cut back to you guys. Get berserker rage ready. And yet again, another lurker. Lurkers are starting to become kind of like chumps here. Three hundred gold circlet, Volusion, and another circlet, Beast Stone. This makes it so I can summon a Werebear or conjure a Werebear. So we completed the quest to um clear all the stones. Man, I thought it was going to give me another quest to pursue after I did that, but apparently not. Okay, so we have this stone. Let's go get our power from the windstone. I don't remember what this one is exactly. North wind. What does that do? It's powers, dummy. North wind. Target takes 20 points of frost damage for 10 seconds. Single use must be required. Yep. And the water stone, which is water of life. That's the one that heals me. We'll equip this. Sacred stones can only confer powers once a day. What? Oh, I already have it. That's why it's saying that. So I have... Okay. It's the only one that I need the earth stone then. Yes, I believe so. 
And I am powering all of these up because it is time to do the quest, The March of the Dead. Which is not an easy quest, and it's a challenge even when I would play on normal difficulty. Although, the last time I've played through Solstheim on normal difficulty has got to be so over a year ago at this point. The last time when I used to play on my PlayStation 4, probably? Wow. Yeah, long, long time ago. I should make a video of me looking back at my old PS4 games. Or PS3 games. My brother and I were actually, the other day, checking out our old PlayStation 3 saves, which is what we originally had Skyrim on. I think we got it in, like, 2014, actually. Yeah, his oldest save goes all the way, my little brother, his oldest save goes all the way back to 2014, which is crazy. I guess I should wait another 24 hours so I get Berserker Rage back, so see you then. So after yet another 24 hour wait, which should be the last one for right now, we will get over to the place. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is that, um, Horoldolf, yeah, Horoldolf's house, which we actually saw his boyfriend over there in that sunken ship that was in either the last video or the video before that. Okay, we can also level up now. Apparently not. I thought we were ready to level up. Well, I guess we'll check out a cellar. We should have time to do this and the rest of the video. I just accidentally punched myself in the ear. Muff, at least. Oh, you know what? They were reading and making fun of his journal. I wish I am. Um... Oh, Lusty Argonian Maid. Don't want to read that. I actually wish I am um, snuck in and heard them talk. Letter. Hraldolf, light and strength. I feel your words are not your own, and I worry dearly for your health. I beg of you. Please depart that, blast depart that blasted eye and return to solitude at once. My nights have been almost impossible to bear without you. To lose you would be the death of me, my love. If you do not return soon, I will come for you. Bjorn Nolfer. That's a very strange name. Okay, there's his journal. How long is it? Okay, not long, I can read this. I've arrived in Solstheim and moved into an old house on the hill and by the shore. Whoever lived here before is long gone. I can see well out into the waters from my vantage here, and can hear all the things behind and around. Dunmer bandits wander the woods at night, but I don't fear them. There is a calling from the depths, a rumble drone that sings to me at night. I've started sleeping in the basement and keeping a knife near. The call is loudest down here. I will I will too be ready for whatever is coming. That seems like it might have been an error on the developer side. It is as if a great machine reverberates beneath me. I tire of waiting for the caller underneath to emerge. I walked to town and bought some digging tools. Shovel, shovel, pick. I started to break down the wall behind the bookshelf, plus dig down slow going I put the bookshelf back when I finished digging why no house guess here but I feel like I have something to hide seems like he's starting to deteriorate a little deteriorate I said that I slurred that word really bad how can I make Bjorn hear what I've I have heard I must not lose him yet I must remain in this place for I know I will know the truth soon the murmurer in the earth and I talk I lay my head against the dirt fire from the deep activate bookshelf and it twists out this is a very disturbing little thing if I'm being honest and the fact that he cleared all this out is kind of insane bloodstained letter Bjorn do not come to this place I have not much self left the earth will take us both B which is his initial this is very sad but um it's also very disturbing because it makes you wonder what was summoning him down here. And obviously there's this dwarven mechanism of some sort. But it kind of calls back to the Deep Ones in Oblivion and Hackdirt. And they basically were... Well, the members of... Or, not members. The citizens of Hackdirt were determined that there was Deep Ones murmuring from the Deep calling them. And they, like, worshipped them like a religion. And it's a very, very disturbing 
subject, and I suggest watching a video after you finish this one, obviously, on it. Um, I know Camel Works, I believe, has an excellent video on it. Okay, let's try to pick this lock. I already found the sweet spot. Somewhere right down there. Bam. That was quite easy for an expert level lock. And, like always, I will take everything in there. Okay, there's the level up that I thought we had. Get us up to 200 health, which is very beneficial. One-handed. Attacks with war axes cause extra bleeding damage. I guess I should use that since my primary weapon is a war axe. Sadly, it is now raining and the weather is terrible. But, oh well, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it, correct? And, yes, correct, I am. Somebody said, now this is going to be so random off of what I was just saying, that I should go and get the follower in Raven Rock, which I think is a good idea. So I may actually do that. Not right now, but maybe the end of this video or the beginning of next. Although, I don't know how the powers I would use would work with that. Okay. Will never fall. Long live the Empire. I wonder how he's saying that. Okay, there's lots of Ash spawn out here. It might be an, a wise decision to use Berserker Rage right now. And just re-equip it when I get in there. Just so I can take out these Ash Spawn without dying. Use my healing. I thought I got dual casting. No, I got the perk that allows me to cast half Magicka. I have not quite got to dual casting yet. I guess I could have got that instead of the Axe perk. I should look around more when I look for what perk to buy. Okay, luckily with Berserker Rage activated, these Ash Spawn are much easier to duel. Seems there's two more outside. For some reason, I have a vivid memory of clearing this place while my little brother watched me play, and I also was, like, eating warheads. I don't know why that popped in my head. I couldn't tell you. Oh, well, he took no damage from that fall. Oh, come on, don't run away. I have to get his out, oh, and Berserker Rage has worn off, and now I'm going to start dying. Okay. This is where some potions come in. Potion of healing. I guess I'll use all of them. Okay, now it's just one. I should be able to handle this. Maybe I'll use actual healing spells. No, oh, come on, leave me be. Okay, that is the last, last, last of the ash spawn. And now we have to enter the fort through this. Oh, I forgot. It's going to take a while. Alright, I'm going to wait another 24 hours so I have Berserker Rage available to me when I go into the fort. Okay, everybody, I am back. I know it probably seems cheesy for me to be doing that over and over and over again, but it is quality of life, and I don't want to keep dying, and there's going to be an ash bomb popping out right here. And there's another one somewhere. There he is. Okay, I do have Unrelenting Force equipped, and for some reason it won't let me use it. Let's finish this one just so their DPS isn't as high. I can handle one ash spawn at a time. And I am just going to take everything they have because everything they have is quite valuable, if I'm being honest. Adept chest, probably going to get this. Nope, never mind, not on the first try for sure. Oh, come on, man. Oh my god, it's so close. I think that's like the same spot I broke it on the last time, though. Oh, and further information for anybody still watching, the streams when I do them, it's probably going to be around every... I want to do every Sunday, and probably every Monday, every other Saturday if I can. Basically, I'm going to be streaming every night that I don't have work. 
And occasionally I may pop home from work, come home, take a shower, and decide, you know, I want to stream tonight. Although those would be way later at night compared to the other ones because I work late shift because I work at a restaurant and I do, well, it's only a dinner service and we're open like 5 to 9. So I'm there from 4 to probably 10 or 11. So those would be later streams. So I'm definitely not going to say they're scheduled. So if you do follow on Twitch, make sure to like, you know, follow get the notifications going. I think we currently have five followers, so it would be cool to see more. Um, I've gotten two in the last two days, which is awesome. Okay, anything... Oh yes, healing potions. We always need more healing potions. This brings us out to Solstheim. I'm not interested. Got some dwarven arrows there. How long is this video going for? About 20 minutes, probably, from your perspective. So, hopefully enough time to complete this area. Or maybe we'll save the general... Nope. Fox carries fight for the next video, but probably not. Just because I want to squeeze it all into this video, even if it takes 35 minutes. And just other talk, I mean, the channel has been doing fantastic, ooh, Master Lock. The channel has been doing fantastic this last, like, week and a half. And I am so appreciative. We gained, like, over 120 subscribers, I think, in the last week. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. I love it. It feels so, it feels so good, if I'm being honest. Just knowing that you guys are enjoying the videos. I've had videos popping off over... You know, 500 views, a couple that got a thousand in the first couple days, and it is so crazy. I'm so appreciative. You have no idea. Okay, Apothecary Satchel, Knapsack, there's the key to Fort Frostmoth. And yeah, honestly, if we keep up at a pace similar to this, by the end of the month, we will be well over 500 subscribers. And my goal was, I mean, 500, not 5,000. Did I say 5,000? I don't know. How big is this? Okay, not too long. And my goal has been to get to 1,000 by the end of the year, and that's starting to look seriously plausible. Okay, day 32, it's, almost been a, it's been almost a month since unearthing the crypt at Fort Frostmoth, and I haven't seen a single spark of life in the general's remains. Grafting the heart stone to the subject is proving much more difficult than I originally anticipated. I've used almost every method I can think of, and still, there's no sign of reanimation. At this rate, it could be years before I make any progress. Which is time that I just can't afford right now. If my vengeance is to come to fruition, I need results. If not, I may need to report, resort to more drastic measures. Day 47. It finally appears that I'm making some progress. After my latest experiment, General Carius's eyes briefly opened and he moved his arms. It lasted for less than a few moments, but it's the first signs of progress I've seen since I arrived here. A few of my assistants were insisting that I was imagining things, but I dismissed them for their insolence. They won't be bothering anyone ever again. Day 55. General Carius, Carius awoke fully today. He bolted upright after my incantations and began staggering around like a blind man. He seemed to ignore my commands. In fact, hearing my voice seemed to increase his hostility. I was able to remove the heartstone before he became violent, but this isn't a result that I expected. Even though he's able to be awakened, I feel as though the real work has just begun. Day 59. The general is still unable or unwilling to listen to my commands. He's acting increasingly paranoid and appears to have his own free will. He's convinced that I am a spy or the enemy, and I've had to restrain him to prevent him from outright attacking me. This is becoming intolerable. I'm beginning to wonder if someone with a heartstone can be commanded at all. If my experiments with the general carries fail, I may have to resort to self-experimentation. Something I've been avoiding for a long time. So, crazy chicks. You know, journal. But, it's usually not a good idea to read a girl's diary like that, so... What you gonna do? But it seems like she reanimated General Fox Carius, who, if you did not know, was a character in Morrowind. And he was the general commander at Fort Frostmoth, which was also in Morrowind. Well... Morwen's Blood Moon DLC, and if you did not know, Morwen's Blood Moon DLC tooks, takes place on Solstheim. And it has to do with Hircine's Blood Moon. 
Okay, so I'm definitely going to save before going down here because these spiders can be a pain. Okay, so I did find out that those spiders don't fly if you shoot them in the air. Shoot them in the air. Um, shout them in the air. I was kind of hoping they would. It would be kind of cool. To just send like a bomb flying back at the other spiders. Hello? Anything in here? No. Apparently not. There is some ruby geodes and some heart stone deposits, but honestly, I don't need either of those right now. I guess I could mine the ruby geodes just for the money, but, you know, kind of a waste of time, and we're getting a little tight on time with this video. Okay, I believe General Falk's Carius is right through this door, so instead of a quick save, I'm going to make a real save. See up the stairs, you know what, I need to wait so my health is back to full. Okay, yes, there he is right there. So you know what I'm going to do? Berserker Rage. Powers, Bones of the Earth, Conjure Wearborn, North Wind, Sun Flare, Waters of Life. First, I'm going to... Conjure the Werebear. Do this. Okay. Do this. Do this. And start going ham on General Falk's carry. So he's dead already. These powers are so good. And yes, you definitely failed, General. The werebearer is going ham on the ash spawn. And I would just like to say, if I just tried to fight General Falk's Carius hand-to-hand, he would have destroyed me. But luckily, since we've unlocked all of those stones, we can handedly take out at least one enemy at a time. Quite effectively. I mean, as you saw, he didn't even get a hit in. Okay, where is his body? There it is. Fort Frostmoth Key, and importantly, Champion's Cudgel, with his, which is an extremely powerful hammer with an even more powerful enchantment, which is the Chaos Enchantment. And this is one of the few unique items that I usually disenchant. As you can see, 50% ch chance for each element of Fire, Frost, and Shock to do 25 points of damage. So that means it's a 50-50 shot for any of them to activate. So there are chances, albeit slim, that none of them... Activate, but there's also the chance, albeit slim, that all of them activate all at once. So it is very powerful. And to the commenter who said you have to read Death Brand, I did look it up and it does not activate the quest until I believe you're level 36. Which sucks, but it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Did I already search this chest? Yes, I did. Um, so yeah, that sucks. Maybe towards the end of this playthrough, maybe who knows, will be a crazy high level. But probably not high enough to do the quest. And when we get to that point, I'll just boost the character just so we can complete all the quests on Soul Slime. Although, I don't even know if that's really going to be what this is about. Because there is going to come to a point in my main Skyrim Let's Play that I'm going to want to, you know, do Skyrim's Dragonborn DLC. So, I may not go that crazy far in this one. Okay, it's not letting me down from here. Like... Can I survive this fall? Yes, I can. Okay. Let's just get away from these enemies real quick. And I don't really know how long this is going to be going on. I I don't know. That's all I'm going to say, guys, is I'm not 100% sure. I'm enjoying it right now, but I don't want to get to the point where I'm still... That's never going to happen. I was going to say I don't want to get to the point where I'm doing this while I'm exploring Solstheim time in my other... Let's play, but that will never happen. I killed General Carius. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over two hundred? I never said he was undead. It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Carius's exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. He'll no longer send Ashbond to Raven Rock. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece, and you got rid of General Carius. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. Well, I probably will. Yeah, I'm definitely thankful. Okay. So, like I said, that is going to be the end of this video. It ended up being a little longer than normal, but that's okay. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you didn't, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I feel like this was a good one, so I think I deserve it. 
I feel like the commentary was really good. And I do hope you guys enjoy. See you in the next one. Goodbye.